Hey, what's good? When does that non the clutch? I want to talk about some NBA news right now as um, DeAndre Aiden, um, per Brett Siegel, is expected to move on from the Portland Trailblazers uh, pretty soon. However, there is not a market for him. That's why the Portland Trailblazers are looking to um, keep him as a veteran leader, but um, they're basically trying to find an excuse because they want to ultimately get rid of a DeAndre Aiden because he is on a massive contract um, for two years uh, remaining on his deal as he's about to make uh, 34 million this season and then 35 million uh, in his last year of his contract. But uh, it is expected that um, Portland is gonna move on from him. They're just waiting for a decent offer that they'll be accepting to uh, get in return for him. That's basically what I understood it as. So when looking at this, I mean, um, DeAndre Aiden, I mean, it's uh, it's kind of sad um, how his career has turned out. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's not he's not a bad player. Like, he has a, a me immense talent. Like, he can compete. He actually is really good, um, especially as a great offensive player, and he has the talent to um, be among some of the, the best centers in the league. But, however, the thing that's holding him back is basically just his mindset of not being able to rise up to adversity or not being able to be... Um, a good uh, player to coaches and um, he has basically uh, got his way out of Phoenix which uh, was a pretty sad and a bitter ending for him and uh, him trying to basically have the chance to um, shine in uh, Portland which they were going to be a rebuilding team and it's full of uh, young players he ultimately um, is um, not doing that well like uh, compared to where he was before as he averaged this past season 16.7 points per game which is his lowest uh, points per game total in the past three seasons 11.1 rebounds 1.6 assists one steal 0 0.8 blocks shooting 57 percent from the field while having 1.8 turnovers now on the surface that sounds really good those are really good numbers those are very impressive but as we mentioned um the Portland Trailblazers are a rebuilding team and he's um, also like not performing scoring wise to the best of his abilities compared to what we've seen before on the Phoenix Suns which have been contenders so basically DeAndre Aiden while he was on the contending team and the Suns as they were rising up he was performing better scoring wise and then now that he's on a rebuilding team in the Trailblazers which normally would mean you would get the most minutes the most opportunities the most touches his points total is still going down, which is kind of a bad sign to tell. And that's why I believe uh, Portland is basically saying, okay, we're gonna try to trade him. And they looked at the market, they don't see anything right now. They're like, all right, uh, we'll, we'll figure something out. You know, uh, he, he could be a veteran leader for us, but, um, but basically as soon as there's a decent trade offer that um, a desperate team is looking to get um, in, in uh, DeAndre Aiden, they're going to be the first to pounce on it because um, the fact that they're already giving up on DeAndre Aiden within this first year, that just goes to show that they don't have a lot of faith in him and they're looking to um, find a way out of that contract so they be able to maybe maximize cap space for potential um, for a potential uh, big signing because uh, they, they definitely could be in line for one of the, the most cap space uh, heading into next year or the following year's free agency. Um, getting rid of uh, contracts like uh, DeAndre Aiden or even Jeremy Grant if they're looking to move on from him. Um, but with that, uh, it's just um, it's just a very sad tale to see. Um, I really hope uh, DeAndre Aiden he can maybe get his uh, the right mindset, whether it's uh, him having more proper confidence, like not necessarily like arrogance, calling himself dominating. I thought that was a little bit like okay, you know, like he. <laughs> He's not like a perennial all-star or anything like that. He's not like in the conversation like Nicole Jokic, Joel Embiid, or Bam Adebayo, or or even Vic, now with Victor Wimbayamba as um, some of the greatest uh, centers in the game. He's not even there. He's already calling himself dominating. I was like, okay, that's a little too much. I just hope he has the right mindset to where he's confident in himself, but at the same time, he's humble about it, doesn't like let it get over his head and thinks he's above people so he can be able to like do what he does best and um, be able to like basically light up the scoreboard which is that's what he's naturally uh, gifted at and um, when I study his game I mean he is a really good threat inside the paint he can he can he's an amazing catch and uh, a shoot player like basically whenever a player is just uh, throwing to Andre Aiden he can he has no problem just uh, shooting a mid-range shot 
with ease. Now, granted, it's at the top of the, the paint, which is right next, right around the free throw line range, but that's still really good. It's very effective. He's very consistent at it, so that's very good on his part. And um, shooting 57% from the field, as mentioned earlier, that is um, that just shows that he is capable of uh, of shooting. So if he can, he has the ability to expand his range from there. And um, he's also a good uh, uh, lob threat, uh, catching lobs. Uh, reminds me sometimes of a DeAndre Jordan when he was with the Lob City Clippers uh, during the, the Chris Paul and Blake Griffin era. He was really good at um, at dunking as well and being very aggressive with it. DeAndre Aiden has uh, the ability to do that as well. And um, with that, I mean, this is his chance to be able to um, to grow. And um, I believe like talent is the talent, the uh, abilities um, in basketball is there. He just needs to be able to um, be more mature about it and not think that he's either above the coaches or think he's um, the best in the league when he hasn't accomplished much, whether it's, um, whether it's uh, in this case, uh, leading to championships because he was on, um, on the championship Suns team um in the western conference champion uh, Suns against the milwaukee bucks they weren't they didn't win the championship uh, so just to clarify um and now on a rebuilding team he hasn't even um performed to the best of his abilities um statistically so when looking at this um this is a uh, deandre Aiden. this should be a wake-up call for him to be able to hopefully he can lock in now so he can be able to uh not only stay in portland in this case but also try to fight for a new max contract because if the Trailblazers are trying to get rid of him and the rest of the league doesn't even want him. I mean, that's kind of a bad sign to tell and he's kind of on a time crunch with his career, unfortunately, because that's that's not a good sign. So I'd love to hear you guys out in the comment section, Trailblazers fans, uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys want to keep DeAndre Aiden? Do you want to trade him? Do you believe it's all mindset? Do you think he need, he definitely needs to improve on his uh, overall game, not just his mentality? Um, I would love to hear you guys out in the comment section. While you're at it, please like and subscribe to this channel. I certainly love and appreciate every single last one of y'all. Thank you all so much. God bless and talk soon.